YouTubers, welcome back. Just give a rundown of my solar panels. On the shed roof here, I've got six panels all in parallel. The far left is 260 watts each. The two middle is 250 watts each. And the far right, the two there are 195 watts each. So I've just made a bracket system using carbon fencing rails. I've got a rail going underneath to hold up the top and a couple for posts. So at the moment, this is facing west. It is about 12 o'clock now. Sun is not quite 90 degrees to the panels. On paper, these are about 1400 watts, but it will be doing about 900 at this time. I'll show you what this looks like on paper and how to calculate. So this is the on the back of one of the two panels there. Your inverter calculates and wants it within the maximum current power. My inverter is 50 amps. So whatever you do, as long as you don't exceed 50 amps. So just remember, when you're in parallel, you increase the amps, you add them together. So to give you an idea how it's laid out. So there are the first two, and the next two is 8.2 amps, and then I've got the other two at 5.05 amps. So that equals 43.56 amps. And I've calculated it using the max short circuit current which is a lot higher because I wanted to be well and truly within the inverted parameters because I didn't want to blow up a $500 unit. So as long as you've got that in place and you've got a circuit breaker in line with the uh, instructions for the inverter, 50 amp breaker. I've got everything turned off at the moment because of the fan in the inverter, you'll never hear me speaking. So that's how we calculate our panels for our inverters. As long as whatever the inverter is, is within those total figures. Calculating is current maximum power. That one, so that's what we calculate using. Any questions or any comments, please drop them in and I'll answer them or hopefully I've answered any questions you have already had. Uh, until the next one, have a good day.